my channel I wanted to do this Khloe Kardashian makeup look um, it was done by styled by Harouche I love her as a makeup artist and lately I've been loving how Khloe looks so I'm gonna start with my brows and I'm using billion dollar brows I linked it below so make sure you check out the description box for all the makeup details in this video it's a wonderful brow powder um, I'm just gonna clean up underneath in case there was any stray hairs or any extra product that came down with a very dense concealer brush. I'm using MAC NC30 Pro Conceal because it's very pigmented and it will make under my brows look perfect, especially with the dense concealer brush. And going in with Benefit Air Patrol with SPF 20, that's why I love this as an eye primer. Use your ring finger because it's your weakest finger and will help decrease any wrinkling that can happen on your lids. Tartlets, um, Tarts Tartlet in Bloom palette. I bought this myself and it was worth every single penny. A lot of palettes have similar shades though, so feel free to use whatever neutral shade you like. If you have this palette, I started with Flower Child and just dusted it into my crease. That way I create a definition. Her eye look was sparkly, but my eyelids are way bigger, so I needed definition first. And right up on my brow bone, I'm putting in Funny Girl, um, but it's with very light strokes because it's nicer to have a more low-key brow bone. Dusting into my crease is this warm brown shade. The color in the palette is called Rebel. The, this blending brush is a little bit more tapered. I'm just doing it to build a tiny bit of definition into the crease instead of having it too overpowering because it's not a smoky eye but like I said my lids are bigger than hers so I did need to add a little bit of color into the crease. Um, if you have smaller eyelids just apply less into your crease or maybe use a smaller brush because like I said you really don't need all that much. It's just so it blends out much nicer and has you know a little bit of contour to your eye shape. Of course I'm going to blend that out again using Flower Child the beige shade because you don't want it looking choppy especially when you're going to go in with a very sorry with a very shimmering shadow. I was eating um, cranberries and almonds I'm sorry <laughs> this is a NYX infinite shadow stick I'm allergic to a lot of different eyeshadow primers and gels and things like that this one I'm not the color is like pretty petal I linked it below but it didn't apply as nicely as I wanted it to but beggars can't be choosers so using a dense shadow brush it might even be a concealer brush you can use your brushes for however you want to I'm blending out the base cream eyeshadow pencil that I just used and then right over it I'm gonna use a shimmer shadow that's called funny girl in the palette but you can use whatever beige shimmering shadow that you own and I'm packing it right all over the lid wherever I lay down the cream infinite shadow stick It did look really pretty. Her eyeshadow in the picture was super, I said eyeshadow like a thousand times, but her eyeshadow looked like it was super sparkly. I don't know what she used. I just used whatever I had in my own collection. I wanted it a little bit brighter, so I'm spraying my brush with Fix, Fix Plus, and I'm going to do it one more time right over the top. And that makes any metallic shimmer shadow stand out a tiny bit more. Because with shimmers, it can kind of make your lids look choppy, especially if you have wrinkly lids like I do. So I'm taking that same blending brush and making sure it's all smooth over. You could see it smoothing as I'm blending it. And it just makes it look way better. So make sure you blend it out, especially with shimmer shades, because that's how you can make it look professional to janky really quick. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you blend and be careful with those shimmers. I'm going to lay down some liquid liner. I linked it below because I always get asked which one it is from Sephora, but it's Sephora liquid liner. And I'm doing it very close to the lash line. That way when I put on my lashes, you won't see any gaps or, or weird colors. Sometimes it could look like it didn't, like something ain't looking right. 
make your liner very close to your lash line first before you put your lashes on and then you can go back and perfect it but you want to make sure there's no gaps in between I'm priming my face using my regular primers Ole Henriksen and Benefit Poreless correcting my skin using LA Girl Pro Conceal um, Pro Correctors I listed them below with a link orange for dark circles and yellow for redness and that's the discolorations I have on my skin tone right now I'm gonna blend it out with a foundation brush um, these correctors are amazing especially if you're a freelance artist so I would definitely pick some up I'm just using a foundation brush to smooth it out a little bit more I applied way 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 too much so I'm gonna need to use a beauty blender and kind of um, drain out the color a little bit because they're super pigmented but you don't need that much pigment under your eyes sometimes too much squeezes out but you can use a beauty blender and it will take some off for you and kind of shear it out that way it still looks good and does correct the skin tone underneath your foundation I'm using Cover FX Custom Cover Drops and Make It Forever Ultra HD. I use these all the time and I know that, but my skin recently had an allergic reaction and I don't know what caused it, so I wanted to use all my regular shit on my skin um, until it's better so I can kind of figure out what happened. <laughs> you know when that happens and you're scared like, oh my god, which product was it? That's exactly what happened to me. So. If you've watched my recent tutorials, I'm always using the same foundation, so I have to just be careful, I guess. This concealer is Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in medium because it's very close to my skin tone, and I'm just putting it over all the places that I need to conceal any anything else. And re-moistening, moist, 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 awful word, <laughs> I'm damping, dampening my beauty blender again. Um with Evian facial spray it's one of my favorite things to keep on my vanity and um, blending out my concealer I like to highlight with concealer as well so this is sand it's one shade lighter than medium in the same type of concealer which is Maybelline fit me and I'm putting it all over the areas that I want to highlight Chloe's skin in that picture was had a very beautiful contour but it wasn't very cut and dry contour I feel like it was more bronzy glowy so I want to make sure that the highlight stays placed with this new um, brush that I decided to use and my favorite cream contour kit which is cover FX I'm gonna start building in the golden glow that I want to achieve this brush was new to me so I was trying to like see how it works while I was doing it but it did work really really well this is from an OP OPV brush set and this brush I mentioned in my January favorites video. I love contouring my nose with this brush I feel like it makes it so much easier because you need a very thin line if it goes any thicker That will actually work against you if you were trying to slim out your nose So make sure that line is very 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 thin and blended perfectly Because I want wanted my contour to last and not break apart on my skin especially with creams I'm just setting it with um, Tarte Park Avenue princess bronzer it's a very neutral bronzer shade, but so it can work beautiful on warm skin tones as a contour shade as well. I'm using a really thick um, powder brush because I feel like on the way my face is shaped, it helps with not having it too blotchy or all over the place. You know, your contour can get crazy really, really fast. So I feel like with this big fluffy brush, it helps make it look blended without doing all the extra work it like blends it out for you and this is makeup forever pro sculpting duo 2 the gold highlight I'm putting right on the tops of my cheekbones because her highlight was just so glowy and gorgeous and whenever I want a super glowy look I use this du sculpting duo and I love a glowy look it's my go-to I do it all the time I feel like a tapered application makes my highlight blend in better. I'm not a huge fan of any fan brushes. This is So Hollywood by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I would suggest getting this instead of a glow kit because I like how this highlight looks. To me it looks more reflective and glassy instead of super powdery but it's completely up to you. 
This is my favorite brush. It's an F100 from Mi Casa Beauty. I am doing a giveaway, so please read below if you want to enter. Don't be shy. You can enter as many times as you want. I'm a huge, huge fan of this brush set. Um, you know, I'm always 100% honest. I never get paid for lying. I would never take the money. So if you want to win this amazing brush set, just read the details below on how to enter. And I'm mixing the two colors together and applying it wherever I contoured. And that's my secret to getting my whole face to look bronzed without too bronzed and crazy. Her cheeks in the picture had a beautiful pinkish glow to them. So I'm using J Cat Beauty Coral Dumpling and just putting on a little bit extra. But your blush actually wears off first. It's the first product that will wear off your skin. So if you went a little overboard, it's okay. It's going to wear off anyways. But try to keep it as far away from your smile lines as possible. You want it really high up on your cheekbones. I did my eyeliner off camera because it, it's just close to reach in my waterline. But I'm taking a pencil brush and going back in with that same shimmer shadow, which is Funny Girl, and laying it right underneath my eyeliner because I feel like that's exactly what it looks like in the picture. And I think it looks beautiful, especially on her tiny eyes. Shimmer shadows tend to have some fallout, so use a setting powder and another tapered brush, and it will dust it away without making a mess. Check how your shit looks. <laughs> I'm using Benefit's Bad Gal um, mascara because I never tried it before, so I figured why not. It did go on great, and it's not clumpy whatsoever, which I thought was cool. Um, sometimes clumpy shadows annoy me, especially when I, when I want a wispy lash look. Chloe's bottom lashes look like they were a little bit clumpy, like they were super dense. So I'm using their Real Benefit Mascara because that gives you a very dramatic lash without false lashes. Look how long they look. I love this mascara. I have it in brown too. Oh my gosh, if you like brown mascara, I would get this one. These are Velour Lashes Carly Lash. I'm a huge fan of Carly Bybel. I've been watching her for years, like from way back in the day. So it was an honor to have these sent to me and being able to wear them. I'm so appreciative. And they're gorgeous too. I'm hiding my lash line with the same Sephora liquid liner. Like I said, it's a great way to make it look 10 times better if you build in your liner afterwards. Make sure your lashes are even because they can be uneven. I sprayed Fix Plus. My skin is dry, so for me to add the extra moisture and tone down the cakiness, I use Fix Plus. And then I also set my face using NYX Dewy Setting Spray. It's a very inexpensive setting spray, but I found that it works just as good as the expensive ones because I've tried so many. If you end up with any little drops, just take your Beauty Blender and give them a little bit of a pat. Before applying lipstick, make sure your lips are super moisturized because that will make it last longer and make your lipstick apply way better. And I like to push mine in just like rubbing in lotion. I rub in my chapstick. Her lips look like she had a really warm lip liner. So I'm going in with House of Dolls um, Maple Lip Liner. And I'm not overdrawing too much, but I am going to add bronzer. I do have a how to make your lips look bigger tutorial if you want to check that out. It's um, on my channel, but I'll link it below so it's easier. So I'm trying this new Nude Sticks. They do sell it in Sephora. I'll list it below. The color is Flesh. I was so impressed with this. It came in a value set, but I would not have purchased it on my own because of the packaging to me isn't cute. But the product is absolutely amazing. I don't know much about the brand at all, but I'm obsessed with this nude lip color. And right over top, I'm using Sunset Strip Gloss because Chloe's lips in the picture were super sparkly and glossy. These glosses are amazing. I know they're pricey, but if you can invest in one gloss that's your favorite color, I do suggest them because they're not too much and they smell great. I hope you like this look and my tutorial and my YouTube channel, please subscribe and share um, and leave your comments below if you have any suggestions. Check out the details on my giveaway because I would love for you guys to have two, um, I would love for you to have a brush set. I'm picking two winners and Mikasa Beauty, thank you so much for 
donating them to my giveaway winners. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.